Today we're going to make a, a garlic and white bean bruschetta with bocarones. What I'm trying to highlight is the versatility of the, the cannellini bean and the creamy texture of that with the crunchy bruschetta and the briny flavor of uh, a bocarone, which is a, a white anchovy marinated in vinegar. So we have our ingredients in front of us. They're very simple. Uh, these are the uh, white anchovies. We have piquillo peppers. You can substitute red peppers if you like. We have our uh, cannellini beans that I've cooked ahead of time. I'll talk about my process there in a second. Uh, we have our fresh thyme, a little bit of red pepper flakes, fresh chopped garlic, and some fresh sage. We're gonna finish it with a little bit of chopped parsley, season with salt and pepper along the way. So our ingredients are simple. Uh, in terms of the, the white beans, the way I like to um, cook them is simmer them for about an hour and a half with a, a bokeh garni in there, which is a, a flavor of herbs. So I've flavored these with a little bit of rosemary, thyme, sage, and garlic. So the actual beans have a base flavor in them, and now I'm gonna support them with the flavors again. So what I wanna do is start with uh, cooking a couple tablespoons of uh, extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna do this on a medium low heat so I keep the flavor of the olive oil. My uh, garlic cloves, pinch of red pepper flakes. I'm gonna cook this on uh, medium low heat until the garlic starts to brown a little bit, bloom the flavor. I don't wanna go too far if it becomes uh, dark, it will be bitter, and I'd have to kind of start over again. In the meantime, taking my fresh thyme and sage. You may use dried, but if you can have access to fresh, it's much better. And I kind of like to wait till the last moment to chop these to add it for flavor. We're ultimately going to puree, the, puree this in a Cuisinart, or a food processor, in the end, so I'm just getting a Kind of a quick rough chop here. Turn up the heat a little bit. All right, I have my white beans ready, and when I add my white beans, that'll kind of stop the cooking of the garlic. So I want to kind of bring it to the right point. The garlic is going to really uh, match the flavor of the beans and kind of highlight the actual, uh, the whole dish. So. We're going to come to a critical point here where it starts to get golden. If I add the beans too early, it stops the cooking of the garlic too early, and then I have a raw flavor of garlic throughout the dish. So I don't want to do it too early, I don't want to do it too late. Being patient looks about just right. I'm going to season this with a touch of pepper and a touch of salt. Add our two cups of uh, cooked cannellini beans. Turn it on low heat. And we'll just cook this for about 10 minutes. So while my beans cook here for about 10 minutes on medium low heat, you can see them slightly bubbling. We're gonna work with making a classic bruschetta. So any sort of uh, day old country bread will work. I like to use uh, my uh, French loaf. And I'm going to cut this at a kind of an extreme angle, so for presentation's sake. So at an angle and at an angle is like what I say. So instead of straight down, I want to turn my knife a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to do this a couple different ways. One way is to toast it in an oven. So I have a 400 degree oven. We'll do a few of these just dry. I'm gonna pop them dry in the oven, high heat. We'll toast that about five or six minutes. What I'm trying to do is get some nice color on the outside while keeping it soft in the center. And then when I come out of the oven, I'll be ready with my fresh garlic and my olive oil to make the classic bruschetta. The other way I wanna do this is to grill the bread. So dry grill. If you're doing it on the outside grill, medium low heat, just enough to get some uh, heat. We'll just mark it, and then let's talk about um, the next step. So when the bread's done, we're going to bring it out, we're gonna brush it with some extra virgin olive oil, and then rub it with fresh garlic. So when I'm working with garlic, I'll crush it open, and I'm always gonna check the center of the garlic to make sure that the stem is not green. So if we look here at the center, my stem is not green. If it's green, it's starting to sprout and it's bitter, so I'll remove the stem. In this case, 
I don't really need to move, remove the stem. So let's take a look at the beans. Medium low heat. They're starting to smell really nicely. The flavors are in there. They look like they've uh, kind of absorbed the moisture, the flavor, and both of our toasts. Let's take a look at our uh, grilled bread. Just want some nice marks. And as it comes off, I want to brush it with the olive oil. So after the fact. So some recipes will tell you to brush it with the olive oil first. I think it kind of makes it a little too moist. I do it after the fact and use a nice olive oil. And then I'm just taking fresh garlic and rubbing it right on the bread. So it's kind of grating the garlic onto the bread. All right, so those are my grilled bruschettas. The bruschetta that has come out of the oven is a little different. This one's a little bit darker, but it's, the concept is still toasty on the outside, soft in the center. Brush a little bit of olive oil, rub with the fresh garlic. Now we have two different types of uh, bruschetta ready for our white bean spread. Let's finish the white bean spread. So the white beans look excellent. They've absorbed the moisture, they smell great, and I'm gonna puree them. I have on hand a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and water to thin it out. So taking a look at this, looks like it's gonna need a little bit of olive oil. So I'm gonna about a, about a tablespoon of olive oil. We'll puree this again, season it with a little bit of uh, kosher salt. Fresh ground black pepper. This looks great. I want a little bit of a rustic texture. This is a classic Spanish dish using white beans and bocorones, anchovies marinated in white vinegar, and the piquillo peppers, which are very similar to uh, red peppers. They're a little sweeter and smaller. You can buy them in the specialty store canned, or you could use red peppers. So what I'm trying to do is get all my stuff in place for assembling. I'm going to put about a tablespoon to two tablespoons on each piece. Generous. And I like to top this with the bocarone with the skin side up. It has a nice uh, sheen to it. And I'm just going with the whole piece here. And then taking some of our piquillo peppers and do a little cross over it. And this would be a simple dish you would find in uh, any tapas bar in Spain. The nice bruschetta, the white bean spread with the garlic and the herbs, our bocarones and our piquillo peppers. With this, I like to do a little drizzle of olive oil. So after a nice drizzle of olive oil, our uh, garlic and white bean bruschetta with bocarones is done. It makes a great appetizer, so enjoy.